They're chanting, come to Seattle. Do you guys want to start your own chant to show, hey? That would be tampering. <laughs> that would be tampering. You can't do that. I'm not do doing that. any of that. <laughs> but if he wants to come, it's yeah. more than one. Well. I'm going to go with all 30 teams would want Shohei on their team. And I think he's right. All 30 teams would want Shohei Otani. Now, look, let's really dive into this because this is the biggest story in all of sports. I mean, if you've been following anything, it's about Shohei Otani. Now, will he get out of here or will he not? The other, the other night he hit the home run. We know about that. But, okay, let's go back. The Herschel Walker trade. I want to take you through some trade scenarios. Everybody talks about the trade. This is what it does. You got Emma Smith back. All right. That Russell Maryland back. They got all these players, Kevin Smith. The, the Cowboys changed their whole direction of their organization when they made that move. Now, how about the Dodgers? There's another way to look at it. They go get Mookie Betts. Remember, they did this in February of 2020. They, again, they give up some players to go get Mookie, but everybody's, oh, it's just a small rental. What it did is it allowed the Dodgers to have a season to tell him, this is what LA is about, this is what we're doing. Juan Soto, I know they had a lot, two and a half years or so control left, so he got back a big haul. C.J. Abrams, he's starting now at shortstop. You got Mackenzie Gore, leads the team in strikeouts. And then James Woods, man, did you see the Futures game? This kid, whoo, talent. And Robert Hassel may be the best hitter. So they did a nice job of getting those four guys. And yes, the flamethrower at 103. Those got those players. So what is Otani going to bring back? I think there's a few things to look at. Number one, can the Angels afford him? A lot of teams trade guys, like you look back to the Lindor deal. The Indians trade him because at the time they were the Indians and now they're the Guardians. Traded Lindor because he turned down $250 million. They said they're not going to sign him. So they trade him. The Angels are not in that scenario. Think about what they've done already. Pujols, $250 million. Rendon, $250 million. Trout, $500 million. Artie Moreno has always been able to buck up and get the players he wants. So... That has to come into play. It's going to be his decision at the end of the day if he keeps him or not. And he understands the commodity that he has. Now let's think about the possibility of clubs that might trade for Shohei. All right, let's go through some rumored teams. I'm not talking Dodgers, Yankees, the big guys. They'll all be in there, no doubt about it. But how about we've been hearing about Tampa Bay? What? Yeah, the Tampa Rays. How about this club getting Shohei Otani? What's that going to take? Well, they're loaded with prospects. There's no doubt about it. They've been knocking at the door of the World Series. Would he help them? Yes. You could take this whole haul right here if they were serious about it, and their organization could still survive. That would be their motive. World Series on a short rental. All right, how about the San Francisco Giants? I look at the Giants more like what the Dodgers did with Mookie Betts. If the Giants were able to get Shohei Otani and have a two-month run-up on everybody else, they got all of August and September to show him, here's what our organization's about, here's what our team is about, come in and see it. They'd give up all these guys. Remember, they tried to get Judge, and then they tried to get Correa, and it didn't work out. So the Giants, look, don't get caught up in, oh, it's a short rental thing. Their plan would be to court him. A two-month lead on all the other clubs that might jump in on free agency. How about Seattle? We heard the chance. Keep him in Seattle. Well, I'll tell you what, he liked Seattle, and they were one of the first ones in when he first came over from Japan. And yes, the Mariners are pitching rich. They have some talent on that big league roster. We're just looking at the prospects, but I do believe that at the end of the day, whatever the team is, if there's a deal to be made, that there's going to be current major league young talent involved. Now, if you're the Angels, are they shopping Shohei Otani? Let me get something clear, people. They're not running around saying we're trading Shohei Otani. But when people call, do you not do your due diligence? Absolutely. They have to do their due diligence, and they're going to listen to what deals are on the table. Because at the end of the day, when that clock ticks on July 31st and we're starting to get ready to that trade deadline, you better be ready for whatever might be presented to you. Will he get traded? Will he not? This is going to be the most intriguing thing that has happened in our sport ever. I cannot wait for the trade deadline.